Hello Planning Mashers and welcome to day 15 of 31 days of bullet journal page ideas series. Today I'm setting up yet another spread you've been requesting in my Instagram stories and that is a workout tracker. This could be a great companion to the weight loss tracker which we did a few days before but unlike that one this workout tracker is actually monthly tracker while i was setting it up i made a setup for october but obviously it can easily be set up for any other month as always i started from a header and i decided to work on a contrast of different fonts so I used a block letters for workout and kind of a cursive for tracker. These kind of uh, contrasts always work very well and are always a cool idea to kind of add a variety to your headers. And of course, I had to surround it with a bunch of workout themed doodles. The tutorial for these doodles, of course, will be available for download as a workbook in our Facebook group. The link is in the description if you want to check that out. So I am using a stencil for all of these little squares for the days, but you don't have to. You can just use a usual ruler. The squares are basically one centimeter or two little squares wide so it should be pretty easy it just so happened that this stencil had the perfect square so i always use the easier way out and stencil is always the easy way out <laughs> Um, at the bottom, I personally decided to add a quote. One of my problems with workout is that I always feel like I'm going to die. And that's why I chose this quote to remind myself that I can do it. It's going to be difficult, but I can do it. The other way you can use this space is by creating a key and color coding your workouts. For me, it didn't really matter because uh, the gym I'm going to right now, we have morning classes, so it's different class every day and I just go there. But if you work out at home or you work on the machines, you might wanna track what kind of uh, muscles you've been working on and stuff like that and it would be great to color code them so instead of a quote you can add a key and assign different kind of workout different colors so that way you can see uh, which workouts you've been doing which days have you been skipping and generally what kind of workout you should do the next day the idea of course is that you would color the days with the color of the type of the workout you did. As for the supplies, today I'm using Stabila markers and of course everything will be linked in the description. And just like that, the tracker is ready. Uh, don't forget to come join us in our Facebook group and get your free worksheet with step-by-step -step doodle tutorials and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye!